Hi, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. Hi, I'm Rob from RobLoFoto.com and today in this video we're going to be talking about how suitable the HTC One Android mobile phone come phablet, um, super phone if you like, how suitable it is and how good it is to have um, as a camera. Um, as you probably know or hopefully know, um, photography is is a great passion of mine. Um, I'm not a professional photographer. I'm an amateur, you know, full time wise. I'm a I'm a retail manager, um, but I like to spend my spare time taking photographs, editing photographs, uploading them, and generally sharing sharing them with the world. And you know, this is why I do the YouTube channel as well. So um, over the past few years, um, the the the, uh, the phone I carry, and the, hence the camera that is on it, is really important because this is the phone that I have with me all the time, no matter what. You know, if I go, sorry, this is the camera I have with me all the time, no matter what. So if I'm going to meetings, or um, we're going away on holiday, or going on day trips, or just going to and from work. Although a lot of the time I'll have my DSLR with me, I'll have my uh, Canon uh, 600D with all the bells and whistles on it. You know, this is the camera that will, will always be there that I can whip out and, and take photographs. And so it's important that it can take a decent photograph. Um, and I know that one of the um, one of the kind of things that gets bandied around the internet and the photographer a lot is, you know, the best camera you have is the one that's in your pocket. But, you know, there's a lot of choice out there, isn't there? You know, we could go with something like uh, an iPhone, Galaxy S4, HTC One, you know, the, the, the smaller version. Um, but the, the thing I really like about HTC One Max is the fact that it's so big. It's got this beautiful screen, which is great for consuming photographs and video, great for listening to films and stuff, and it's great for sort of sharing your portfolio and the photographs you've taken. But is it any good for taking photographs? Because one without the other, you know, it would kind of sway me one, one way. So if, if you want the really quick answer to this video, um, is this camera any good? Is the camera in the HTC One Max any good for taking videos, for taking uh, photographs? The answer is yes, <laughs> because here we have some prints I've done uh, today, actually, of photographs I've taken. So this is an A4 print um, taken using the HTC One Max. Um, last week I went out on a photo walk, and you'll see some more photos from this photo walk early one. Um, it's printed at 300 dpi. Um, on glossy photo paper using a Canon MG 5500 or 55500 um, sort of home printer. Um, it's been edited and cropped in Photoshop and so what that means is I've kind of boosted the colours a little bit, um, increased the contrast a little bit as you'd expect as you would do even with a really expensive DSLR or anything like that and then in Photoshop I've cropped it to the right uh, f um, aspect ratio for uh, an A4 print, and I've also asked Photoshop to make sure it's at 300 dpi. Um, and as you can see, well, <laughs> it's difficult for you to see this because you know you're looking at this maybe in H uh, HD video maximum 720p, um, um, so you can't really see. But trust me, you know this photograph looks fine. And any camera, you know, any digital camera that can take a photo that you can print out at A4 size and it looks fine. Um, well, and I'm sure if it was a sunny day, it would look even better. That's fine by me. It's it's a good enough camera to, to start off with. Um, I also printed out a couple of black and whites. So here we have, um, let's see if I can get these the right way up. So here we have, uh, these are 5 by 7s same, same way. I mean, if anything, the 5 by 7s look, look even better because obviously the resolution... Uh, Issues that you have with it with uh, with smartphone cameras doesn't really come into it because it's, it's a smaller print size. Um, but the details there, they look great. Um, yeah, nothing wrong with these at all. Very very pleased indeed. So, you know, if that's all you want to know, you can turn the video off now. But no, no, wait, no, I don't want you to do that because the thing about the uh, the camera on something like the HTC One Max is that. You know, probably like almost in direct comparison to things like digital SRs and even sort of, sort of compacts, there's so much more you can do uh, with the camera and the video camera on 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 a device on a device like this. Um, so let's talk a little bit about um, the specs of the camera. Um, they're a little bit underwhelming, to be honest, if you're used to um, listening to sort of high uh, megapixel cameras. Um, the HTC One Max has a four megapixel camera. 
um, with an f2 f2 aperture um, and a 28 millimeter lens so what that means is it doesn't have that many megapixels so for example with these particular photographs oops, here's one on the floor you, know, you can't crop too much if you want to do print at something like 84 if you start cropping too much then you're going to be losing a lot of data um, but, but those pixel sites themselves are much larger which means that the camera can um, excuse me, get better photographs in difficult lighting conditions, say when it's a little bit darker and stuff like that. Um, it also means it can do some fancy stuff, which I'll get on to a bit in a minute. Now it's an f2 lens, so it's quite you know, it's quite wide, so it lets in plenty of light, and it's a 28mm, which means it's it would be classed in the uh, in the camera world as, as a wide angle lens. Not super wide, so things aren't going to distort too much, but they're going to look nice. And in my experience of using the, the lens, um, it's, it's good enough. On my um, Samsung Galaxy Nexus, the lens was more like, I think, a 35mm, which meant I had to back up a lot, and often if I was in a tight situation, I couldn't fit everything in. But the um, the focal length of the uh, the lens on uh, on this little uh, this little camera is, is fine as well. Um, so, again, they call uh, the megapixels, they call it the Ultra Pixels uh, HTC, um, which means it has larger photo sites for better images in low light. Um, and what it also means is you can obviously take single images, you can take sweep panoramas, which you know, most smartphone phones do. You can, there's a HDR mode in it as well, which is great for bringing out detail in the showers, sh shadows and the highlights. It's got a really good burst mode where you can shoot about 20 images in a row, which is more than my DSLR can do. And there's a whole heap of shooting, shooting modes as well, which I'll show you in a minute when we flip the camera around and we physically um, look at the, the camera in action. And there's loads of filters and loads of special effects um, you can add as well. Um, that's the main camera there you can see with a little flash next to it and also on the front you've got a front facing camera which is good for 2.1 megapixels. Um, you can actually take video and take stills where it will take a picture of at the front and at the back at the same time and especially for video that's quite cool because you have a little bit in the corner. Um, the video it can take, um, it does full HD, um, it can do uh, 60 frames a second and there's a slow motion um, uh, version as well and, uh, and also a HDR video option as well. One of the things that HTC have really worked on is um, within the Sense interface and the, the camera is something called a Zoe. Now a Zoe is basically instead of taking a photograph where you, you know hold your hold your phone up and you go and you go click take a photograph you actually take a short burst of video about about three seconds worth of video um, and often you you know you you'll be moving the camera while you do this, or your subject may well be moving. And the idea of this is that within those um, within those three second uh, bursts of video, you, you get the three seconds of HD video as you'd expect, but you also get twenty stills at the full resolution of the camera. So you don't lose anything. You don't lose any resolution by taking a zoe. And what that does, it then gives you the option afterwards of obviously having a short video, but you can also pick the best shot. Out of um, out of that, that that particular range of um, of, of, of photographs uh, from the video, and also it's very clever because it can also pull together a highlights reel, if you like, which again you're going to see examples of in this video, where the phone automatically stitches them together and produces a little, almost like a video slideshow, and it can, it can do it with the stills as well, and then you can. Excuse me. You can then choose the style and the theme. So it could be black and white. It could be uh, color with uh, lens flares, all that sort of thing. And you'll see plenty of those a little bit um, later on. Um, but also, you can also use that burst of images, that, that that series of images, to create things like animated gifs or gifs. Um, and again, you can make add filters to make them look more dramatic. Um, you can create something called a um, sequence shot as well. Imagine, say, a BMXer. So, say a BMXer was coming up to, to a ramp and doing a jump over the ramp. You can do a burst or, or shot or do, do a Zoe of it happening, follow them along. And then what happens then is the, the phone can then process that. Um, so you'll have one image, but with like four bits of the, uh, the, the BMXer at different points going across. The other thing it can do as well is, you can ask it to take things out of a scene. So imagine you were taking a picture of your friend in front of a, st a famous statue in London or something, and then somebody walked through the scene. You could then, because it's taken a burst of images, you can tell it which thing to take it out, and it can pull that out. Um, 
Now, some of these more advanced features I'm going to be doing separate videos on because I'm very, very well aware that this video might go on quite a bit. It's going to be quite long, so we're going to be looking at lots of different things and you're going to see lots of examples as well, which I think is very, very important. Um, but what we're going to do next is um, I'm going to turn the camera around um, so you can take a real close look at the inbuilt camera app and its settings. Um, um, we're going to look at uh, video. We're going to look at, take a quick look at the gallery app as well to see how it organizes photos. Um, and then we're going to look at how you can edit your photos using the built-in uh, features of the phone. And we'll look at some example photos as well, um, some example videos as well. And we'll look at um, some examples from a photo walk I did recently, um, edited in the camera, and um, some larger examples. And you're going to see the video highlights that the uh, that the, the, the uh, camera that the phone can kind of bring together and produce automatically. So there's going to be lots of different things now. But it, 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 my summary, really, I guess, for the HTC One Max camera is is quite simply, you know, it takes nice photographs you know it will take a photograph that you can print out up to a four size and it looks great now what more could you really ask physically I should add before we go on it's quite a large camera it's quite a large phone so it takes a little bit of getting used to but once you are um, it's very uh, it's no different really than uh, any other phone I've used right okay so let's get the camera turned around so you can have a, a better look at the phone in action and see uh, well see what you think Hi, um, right, so I flipped the camera around and here's the HTC One Max in in full effect. <laughs> Let's have a look at the camera. Now, first things first, actually, you might notice that I've added the camera to my um, apps bar at the bottom. So no matter which home screen I'm on, um, you can always see the camera, so I can just attach that. In fact, let's take one step backwards as well. Let's imagine the phone's turned off. And let's turn it back on again. Obviously, the lock screen is now on, but if I just want to use the camera, I can flick that up and bunk into the camera. Now, that's pretty quick, isn't it? That is much faster than my um, HTC, uh, HTC One. Uh, faster than my Samsung Galaxy Nexus, and then we can be straight into taking a photo. In fact, let, let's try that again. Let's see how fast we can take a photo from us. Also, turn it on, flick the camera up, and let's take a picture. There we go. Done. That was pretty good. That's pretty fast. Okay, so let's um, let's just unlock the phone. Um, see if I can do this quickly now. There we go. Hey, fingerprint recognition does work on the HTC One Max as well. And let's go into the camera app. So here we go. So I fired up the camera as though we're going to take a picture of this rather boring screen. In fact, I tell you what. Why don't I just come out of this? Let's go to Flickr. Now this is probably going to be a little bit. Um, a little bit boring, but at least I mean you'll, you'll see something on the camera. So I don't know. Let's have a look at this nice flower. Let's bring this one up. Okay, so let's wait for it to come up. There we go. So, <laughs> so as you can see, imagine I'm in front of this flower. I'm not actually in front of a laptop screen. I want to take a picture. Um, as you can see straight away, I've got it set up for with grid lines on, so I can get everything nice and uh, nice and straight. And basically, to take a picture, um, you just press. The shutter button at the bottom there if i want to take um a number of pictures in a row um very fast just press and hold the shutter button i don't know whether you'll hear this but here we go here you go click 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 again it's taking a big burst of images and i could turn those uh, images into um, a gif or anything like that now because i've taken a burst it's actually asking me do i want to choose the best one it's kind of picked out the best one for me but at this point i don't actually want it to choose so i'm just going to go back into the camera app so there we go now one of the things you can do as well when you're using it although you take a picture by pressing uh, this little camera icon down in the bottom we can just press anywhere on the screen and that will then set the autofocus um and um uh, automatic exposure for that particular point so you know when you want to uh, instead of having to focus and recompose because a particular bit of the scene is further away than another rather than it just focus in the middle you can just put your finger somewhere it will it'll lock the auto exposure and auto focus and then you can take the picture to get rid of it just tap again somewhere in the middle 
um, obviously we could be we'd probably be, tend to be using the camera kind of that way wouldn't we to uh, to take photos um, to take videos all we have to do is press this little video icon down there nice and easy um, however the big difference with the HTC one max is the Zoe so again if we press Zoe what will this then do it will then if we press the camera button you probably see a little green little red bar going across I think it's sometimes green as well, maybe because I'm not quite in focus. That will then take a three second video clip, which we can then use as videos or we can pull stills out. And um, let's turn Zoe's off, go back to the camera. Top left hand corner, here we've got the flash options, nice and easy. I like having them here rather than having them um, on the touch screen like you get on the Galaxy Nexus. And then what we've got are down here on the bottom right hand side is we've got the filter effects. So let's press these, in fact, it's probably better off if we look at through them this way. So these are the things we can apply to the photograph at point of capture. So we've got plane, um, let's press this one. So this is like a, um, it doesn't really look, look like it at the moment, but if I drag the slider around, this is actually a fisheye effect. Can you see how that's turning into a fisheye? Again, you can turn it into a reverse fisheye. So you can get all sorts of um, weird and uh, wonderful effects. Then we've got kind of this your typical kind of Lomo look, isn't it, with the um, uh, dark edges. But again, we, what we can do, we can alter how large that center of focus is. So you can almost turn it in, you know, into a really old fashioned type, type camera. That's very, very nice. Um, let's go see what else we've got. This particular one, this is selective focus. Might be quite tricky to see, but this is almost like a lens baby effect. So you can choose how, how blurred um, what portion of the screen is blurred around it, but then you can also move the point of focus around. So there with that, if we're taking a picture of that rose, the, the, the center of the rose is nice and sharp, and the rest of it is incredibly blurred. How cool is that? Really easy to use. And remember, these are at point of capture. Here we've got kind of like almost like a pixelated type of effect, um, a black and white kind of holger, a um, bit bleached out. And then we've got kind of various different sort of color options for all sorts of, there's almost, there's a negative, there's a, um, an invert, I guess it probably would be special effects. Um, so as you can see, there's multiple ways that you can affect the look of your photographs or your videos, because um, you can do lots of things with videos as well, um, simply by playing around uh, at point of capture. Now, um, if I flick it around this way, let's have a look at the settings here, see if this is easy easy for you to see. You might be able to see this. So we can flip between the uh, back and front camera. Whoop, that's me. Hi. <laughs> let's turn this round. Because you don't want to look at me, do you? No, let's look at this nice flower instead. Um, what else have we got? We can choose a different scene, so we can make it go to Zoe, and then we've got a night scene, HDR. HDR is great for capturing detail in the shadows and the highlights, but do remember that moving subjects sometimes can lead to ghosting. A sweet panorama, you probably had to go with one of those already with your camera. Dual capture, so that's where it'll take a photo or a video with the main screen on and using the, the camera on the, the back of the camera, but also use the camera on the front and put a little picture in there. Anti-shake so that bumps up the ISO. Um, the scene mode as well, um, when we're doing video, as you can see, we can now change it. We could have slow motion video, HD video, and HDR video. I will be doing separate YouTube videos about these. We've got a self-timer we can turn off and we can choose how long we want the self-timer to be. Change the video quality, 1920, well, 1080, 720, 240, 144. Um, how long we review them, whether we want a manual ISO or uh, automatic we can change the white balance continuous shooting so we can say look <laughs> limit it to 20 frames or let it just carry on with the camera lock focus in video that can be quite useful because it means that the camera doesn't hunt around it depends what you're doing i like to have the grid on auto upload i've got turned off but you can have it so it sets all upload to your favorite video sh uh, photo sharing sites and then we've got at the bottom some really good hints and tips where you can start, kind of go through and it'll tell you kind of how to do these things like a, uh, a beginner's guide to uh, using the, the camera. So as you can see, we've got loads of options for taking photographs, um, but the basic option is, uh, is really, really simple. So what we'll do next is we'll go into, have a quick look at the gallery, um, and then we'll have a quick look at you know, the options for editing, editing a photograph too. 
Okay, so now let's go in and have a look at the gallery app. Um, and this kind of, I, I want to show you uh, about the, f the photos on the phone that we've taken with the phone, but also photos that you download and photos from, from different sites as well. So let's go into my photography folder. So here we can say, see the kind of basic albums view. So we've got camera shots at the top, photos I've downloaded, highlights, things, photos from Google Drive, photos from Facebook and Flickr, um, Picasso, and obviously you can add things. So first up, let's have a quick look at, say, some photos I've downloaded here. Um, and this is a collection of images done by, I think it was W Magazine. And they had like, you know, the 10 sexiest models, most influential models in the world. But it really kind of shows off the beauty of this HD screen um you know as a photographer we really value looking at great images don't we um and the screen and the brightness of, of um, the hdc one max is you know particularly good so you know we can go i know there are great you know the Flickr app is uh, really really nice but you know we can go to we can go to Flickr. we can well we can uh, fire up the the app and we can get it to join into our um get it to join into our, our Flickr stream and you know and we can look at our photographs um, and uh, it is um, it's, it's pretty amazing the screen is uh, absolutely uh, absolutely beautiful so not only is it great for looking at the photographs you've taken with your camera it's great for looking at photographs you've downloaded and you've got on other services as well so the photos are kind of organized in sort of albums and then we've got events which is uh, them in uh, sort of different days when you've been out with your camera as you can see when it's a video things uh, kind of start to play and then you can share images on HTC as well it's an easy way of sharing uh, videos and things uh, if you haven't got things like a YouTube account now if we go into albums so these are the um, camera shots uh, straight away you can see we've got you know all the all the pictures that I've taken with the uh, with the HTC One Max, anything that's a video or a Zoe starts to play. In fact, you know, if it's a camera and it's moving, whoops, um, it will be a uh, it will be a Zoe. Let's go to the top, and there's probably some videos that you can see. Yeah, so videos kind of have that little mark on instead of the the corner one. Um, we can look at photos in terms of uh, where they were taken as well. Um, Gosport, Portsmouth, Fairham. And then we've got the video highlights as well. So this is where it can pull together different photos and automatically creates these montages that really are quite special as well. And it adds um, adds music to them. So as you can see, let's I don't know, let's just, let's just look through a few photos, shall we? Um, let's go. Let's start with I don't know. Let's go to somewhere like here we go. So this was a photo walk I went out and. Um, in Portsmouth and we can look through the photos super bright screen um, very very nice uh, let's just play a quick video it's going for a car wash Ooh, let's take it back to the beginning to turn the sound up yeah you know, this is one of those things where you know you try lots of different things don't you with your um, <laughs> oh dear, let's find something else. What else have we got? Oh, that was lunch we had somewhere. Flower macro shots I was playing around with. Very nice indeed. I mean, you can see how fast and responsive the phone is, and how great these uh, these photos look. Obviously, we can we can zoom in if we like and flick around. And then if we, um, th I didn't take these these pictures here with HDC and One Max. These are from my DSLR, but I did take these. Um, these are some pictures around Gosport where I've added some special effects as well. Um, let's find one that we can zoom in on that looks particularly interesting. I don't know. Here we go. So this is quite an interesting one of a church entrance. And again, we can zoom in and we can have a look. And as you can see, you know, you, you've got you can see the detail of the photograph straight away there, but also. You know how easy it is to, to look around so once we think oh yes that's a nice photo let's do something with it what we can do is we can then tap on the photo and we can add this to a highlight we could share it so at this point we can now upload it to Facebook Google Drive Scribble Mail um, Flickr you know these are the things that you'll see on every single Android phone we can get rid of it obviously we can watch a slideshow or we can edit it. So let's go in and look at the kind of stock editing options that we get with the Samsung Galaxy Max.
uh, uh, Samsung, Samsung Galaxy, so the HTC One Max. So we've got effects down the bottom. So if we click on this, so these are the sort of the uh, uh, changing the look of the photos. We can auto enhance the photo. That sort of punches up the contrast a little bit. We can work our way through these these kind of presets that all give us a slightly different effect. Very Lomo, very Instagram. Um, and uh, you know if you want to make a photo look more interesting just add a few filters to it and so we've got the presets which is okay isn't it but where things get very very interesting indeed is that this little button here custom let's hit custom and all of a sudden we've got an unbelievable level of adjustments that we can go through look at all these things we can auto enhance we can change the white balance we've got a levels adjustment just like photoshop so we can bump the blacks up uh, change the white uh, level and then change the mids I mean, how how cool is that we could just simply change the exposure easy peasy contrast similar brightness saturation let's check this play around with the color let's super saturate desaturate a little bit that's quite nice isn't it we can adjust the sharpness you know wow look at that level of detail it's almost turning into like a hdr effect we can add film grain and we can add, of course, a vignette. <laughs> what would a good mobile phone photo be without a nice vignette? And then we could, if we like that particular look, we could save that as a preset. Um, but let's cancel that. Let's come out. So that's all the different effects. Absolutely amazing. We can add frames. We've got like an old photo frame, wooden photo frame, airmail. How about that? Grunge. I always like grunge. It looks like a bit like a... Um, it looks like a uh, instant photograph that's been peeled, you know, like pack film. A montage of photos. Make it even look like it's uh, been taken, been put in a book where it's got creases on it. But we don't want to do that. Let's look at some other things. We can retouch. So skin, now these won't really work because this isn't a picture of a person, but we can smooth the skin. We can adjust the lighting. We can enhance the eyes. We can do red eye removal, we can do anti-brightening, and we can take the shine off people. How cool is that? And what tools have we got? Well, we can physically draw <laughs> on the picture you know, uh, with I don't know, a felt tip pen. How about that? Isn't that artistic? We don't want to do that. I don't want to do that, though. We could rotate the picture. You might say, well, big deal. But it's all about straightening in it, isn't it? That's what you really want. Because how many times you take a picture and it's slightly off? We can straight it. And remember, what's going to happen this, this is going to, um, we can flip it. And we can crop it. And again, when we crop, we can then choose the ratio we want to crop to. Say we want to print it out, 6 by 4 um, five, 5 by 7 Facebook cover. So it'll fit perfectly on Facebook. How good is that? So, and when it does save things, it does save the photos at the full resolution. And for me, that is very, very important because lots of editing apps, they're great at editing, but all of a sudden you find that your file size has gone and your size has gone that way. So there we go. I'm not going to, let's go back. So as you can see, the uh, HTC One Max Gallery and, uh, and its editing options, its stock editing options are incredibly powerful. You know, the fact that you can go in I think, and um, let's just choose a, you know, and the, it's worth the price of admission just for this particular bit here. You know, you go into um, effects, go into custom, and all of these different things. The fact it's got a levels adjustment blows my mind, and I love it. It's fantastic. Um, it's all, it's a, you know, it's very very good indeed. So there you go there's that's the basic gallery with the uh, stock editing options which as you'd agree are pretty powerful aren't they right what we're going to do next is we're going to look at um how the phone kind of pulls together some of these uh, highlights these video highlights um to give you an idea of uh, how how cool that is as well okay so what we're going to do now is let's go in and have a look at this uh, these video highlights kind of uh, what the HTC One Max can do. So let's go into the um, let's go into the gallery app, and then what we want to do is 
we want to find something, uh, a photo at a, a time. So this this particular one here, this is a photo walk I did, and this, these will be the, uh, the the Zoes, the short videos and the stills that you'll see in the examples um, up next. Um, and as you can see, you know, I've been out and, <laughs> here's me, been out and taken lots of photos. You can see that any of the videos or the Zoes, they play as a little preview as we're going through. And if you go into a particular Zoe, for example, like that once we're in we can then choose to pick out um, a particular frame that we want or we could go in and we can edit the zoe we could create a gif we could create a sequence shop always smile that's quite a good one actually and we can take an object out obviously we've got all the usual effects that we can add to this you know to to make it more um i don't know let's add how about helios how about that so now this particular Zoe, Ooh. Let's save that. Would then we could then save that, and um, it's kind of saved um, and looks uh, looks interesting, doesn't it? That way. So, as one of the big problems when you have got your mobile phone, you take lots of photos. Is how do you, especially video, how do you put it all together? But if we just swipe left, and then all of a sudden we've got the video highlights. Now you can probably see stuff. Let's turn this around. So automatically it brings together what it thinks are some of your best photos. And creates like this montage of, of um, it could be stills, uh, I think in this case it's stills isn't it, or maybe some video, and then applies a theme to it, and there's lots of different themes you can apply. But you do have quite a lot of control over this as well, because what we can do, you probably see these photos that are highlighted with green, we can actually go through and we can just highlight what we would want um, to appear in the, uh, the highlight reel. I don't know, I'm just kind of guessing here. I'm just adding a few images. Let's do something like that. Something like that, I don't know, something like that. And then we up here, we can change the theme. So let's say, I don't know, let's give Swellington a go. And we could also choose a different music. We could even upload to music and it would add it to that. And in fact, if you want to do longer video highlights, upload longer films. So now it's done that. Ooh. Let's um, let's watch, see what it's come up with. Isn't that cool? So it automatically creates these really cool little videos that have um, your videos in them and your stills and produces um, a video highlight which you could then save and then you could share using HTC Share or you could upload it to Facebook or upload it to um, YouTube, etc. Or Flickr, I think, takes your videos as well. Obviously, if you're uploading music where you added your own, make sure it's not copyrighted stuff because I assure you that YouTube and Facebook, if they think it's copyright music, they whip it down um, straight away. So it's kind of quite hard to explain how the video highlight system works but what I'm going to do next is um, you're going to see quite a few kind of different examples of um, these video highlights with different presets kind of applied ones with videos ones with stills um, and then after that you'll see uh, some videos just ordinary videos that I've taken with the HTC One Max to give you an idea of the quality of the um, quality of the uh, the video that you can take if you're just doing sort of longer form videos as well okay so uh, let's have a look at them hi i'm rob from robnoffoto.com and i'm using my htc1 max max's um front camera that's the sort of the um camera that's, that's on the same side as the uh, as the screen to record this little video what i'm going to be doing i'm trying to go out around Gospel where I live and uh, on a little bit of a photo walk to try and capture a few images because I've had the I've had the one max now for probably about three weeks and I really enjoy using it and um, it's a great phone but I really had a chance to play around with the camera or the video capturing options very much because the weather's just been so awful but 
even though the weather's pretty bad out there at the moment, um, what the hey, I'm going to go out, we're going to see what we can do, um, and then I'm going to take some, obviously take some photos using the different aspects of the main camera. Um, I'll take some video as well, and uh, I'll take some um, uh, some Zoe's, which are like these little short videos that you can turn into uh, stills or, or short videos, and then maybe try and use the HTC One Max to kind of pull it all together um, to produce. You can produce these self-contained highlight videos that are, that are quite interesting, and you can add music to them and that sort of thing. Okay, so um, without further ado, um, let's go and see if we can fight our way through this gloomy grey windy day that's out there and maybe take some uh, half decent photographs using the HTC One Max.
suppose you could have a go at missing the potholes. Okay, so you're still here, fantastic. fantastic. I know we've covered a lot of ground um, with this video, but I, a lot of people, when they see a big phone like the HTC One Max, you might be put off a bit and you think, oh, I could never use this as a camera. But hopefully by seeing the images and the videos and the video highlights um, that I've uh, shown you on this video, it may, be, it may be changed your mind and kind of opened up you, yourself to the idea that the, that the video camera and the stills camera you have on on the HTC One Max and the HTC One kind of range is a is a fusion. You know, it's more than a stills camera. It's more than a video camera. And the way that the device brings together these things in things like the video highlights reel quickly, excuse me, and easily, it's kind of a bit of a game changer, really. Um, I I tell you, what I'd really like to be able to do, I guess, is be, take photos with my DSLR um, wirelessly. And then wirelessly have them go into the HTC One Max, where I could then edit them on the go, um, and then um, and then use the video highlights to mix them together. Now you can actually upload photos to your phone, and it will create highlight videos from them. And um, I've done that, so that's very very good. But what you really want to know is, does the HTC One Max take a decent photo, take a decent video? Um, is it usable? And the answer to all these is yes. Definitely. So if you if you've fallen in love with the form factor, if you love the big size, you love the big screen, you love the loudness of the speakers. Don't worry. You know, for the photographer, this not only is great at looking at photographs, but it's great at taking them as well. My name is Rob from RobNonPhoto.com. Thanks for watching.